If you're watching this video, it's probably 2023, maybe even 2024 by now, and you're wondering if the CCNA is still a valid or good certification. And just so you know, we're talking about the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification. You may have heard of this before, maybe you're new to it, maybe you're just trying to figure out what certification you should get. So let's dive into the CCNA and talk about whether that's worth it nowadays or not. Because as you may or may not have heard, the cloud and AI has taken over the world, something like that. So let's talk about the CCNA. The CCNA has been around for some time. Cisco is one of, if not the largest networking vendor in the entire world. I think probably everybody has heard of Cisco or everybody who works in IT has definitely heard of Cisco because Cisco switches and routers are everywhere or almost everywhere. Cisco is definitely one of the most widely used networking vendors across the world. There is no doubting that. There are other network vendors out there that do exist, but there is nothing else out there that really compares to the power that Cisco has. And on top of all of the equipment that they have, they also offer a variety of certifications like the CCNA, which is probably the best fundamentally based or fundamentally based certification when it comes to networking specifically. And just to compare this with another networking certification that you've probably heard a lot about if you're just looking to get into IT or advance your skills is the CompTIA Network Plus certification. Now, just to lay down a quick comparison before we dive deeper into some of the the details of the CCNA. A quick comparison of these two and why I highly recommend the CCNA is because, well, plain and simple, the CCNA number one is cheaper and number two, it has far more marketability than the Network Plus ever will. Now, that isn't to say that the Network Plus isn't valuable. There is a lot of value in the Network Plus. In fact, some jobs still require you have the Network Plus and that is more specific to government jobs. They actually require that you have some CompTIA certifications. So you do have to keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, if you are going to look at both of these certifications, the CCNA may be a little bit more advanced, but again, it's cheaper and it has far more marketability than the CompTIA Network Plus. I would highly suggest if you are trying to figure out which certification is best for you, I would definitely go down the route of studying the material on the CompTIA Network Plus. Just learn that information, understand those fundamentals. But by no means do you actually have to go out and take that exam and spend your money on it. I definitely would not recommend that unless it's absolutely required for a job that you're going after or a job that you have obtained, they may often require that sometimes and they will pay for that. Otherwise, I would spend your hard earned money on the CCNA. There is far more value in having that certification. Whether companies are asking for that specifically, it is a certification that will stand out on your resume. And the CCNA does contain a sufficient amount of information to learn and understand what you need to know about kind of fundamentals of networking and really kind of those junior levels of network administration administration and even well into the world of standard network administration as well. It is a great certification to have on your resume and there's great information for you to learn on that exam as well. For the CCNA, the exam price is 300 US dollars. And again, in comparison to the Network Plus, you're looking at almost $400, I believe for that exam now. But anyway, CCNA, $300 and that does not contain training, but Cisco does have a network academy that you can go and get free training from them directly so you can study for your CCNA. CCNA right through them. And you can utilize a program called Packet Tracer. Again, it's provided by Cisco. Packet Tracer will let you actually virtualize different Cisco routers and switches. So you can actually get a little bit more hands-on with some of that equipment, even though it's virtual, you're still learning a little bit more hands-on, if you will, about how that equipment works, how to set it up, configure it, etc. So definitely check that out. The exam consists of multiple choice questions and some simulations. You have 120 minutes to complete that exam. And the passing score is, I believe, 850 or 800 out of 1000 and that certification is valid for three years. Now, while we're on that topic of that certification being valid for three years, it just so happens that the last version of the Cisco CCNA was released in 2020. It's 2023 now, so we can expect at some point this year we to hear some information about the new Cisco CCNA exam or the new CCNA exam, but we haven't heard anything about that yet or I haven't seen anything out on my quick research that I did before doing this video. So I can't say anything for sure on when that information is going to be released. Either way, I can assure you that obtaining the new CCNA even is still going to be a good idea moving forward because again, Cisco has a huge demand in the market and just the marketability alone of that certification is going to be of high value on your resume. Now we said earlier on in this video that this exam is mainly focused on networking and more specifically Cisco networking. So it is going to cover a lot of the different fundamentals, etc., of how a Cisco network operates, how it works, how Cisco 
equipment is then utilized in those environments, how you actually configure and deploy those different Cisco routers and switches like that. So very much focused on Cisco, but it still lays down a lot of information about networking in general. Now it's not going to specifically dive deep into a lot of the networking fundamentals. And again, that's where the network plus just studying for that certification comes into handy. But if you're looking to study even further and you know, packet tracer isn't working for you and the Cisco Academy isn't working for you, I highly suggest utilizing IT Pro TV. They're not sponsoring this video, but they are an affiliate of mine. So if you use this coupon code ITCQ30, it saves you 30% off of their program. But one great thing that they offer over there at IT Pro TV is practice exams. So as you're going through and studying for your CCNA, you can go to IT Pro TV and you can actually take practice exams for your CCNA right then and there. So you can learn how you're performing on that exam before you actually go out and take it. And they also offer training over there for the CCNA as well. And they do have practice labs that you can go on and follow along with them as well there too. So go check out IT Pro TV. Link is in the description below. And to summarize this entire video, essentially, the CCNA is still valid. It's still a great certification to have. There are over 9,000 jobs on Indeed right now that are asking for the CCNA certification. So if you're trying to figure out what the best certification is that you need to propel your career, to get started in your career, or to learn more about networking, again, I highly suggest the CCNA. That's all I got for today's video. As always, take it easy.